I'm Jeff McAllister. I'm a technical consulting engineer at Intel. And we are super excited to be here at Embedded Vision Summit to tell you about our Computer Vision SDK. So what we've got here is a collection of tools that can help you access Intel hardware. A new development we're really excited about is a single shot detector. So this is a, a, a form of uh, machine learning image recognition that is able to recognize multiple regions in a frame uh, and, and, and classify those, those regions uh, based on a, a pre-trained model. So what, what we have showing here is a demo running on the GPU and it's, it's you know, running quite fast. It's, you know, it's, it's running in real time uh, and, and showing that, that we can make use of, of that GPU hardware that is available on most uh, Intel processors. So the, the CVSDK is recently launched. It's, it's available in, in beta. Uh, it has two main components. Uh, one is the machine learning here that, that's showing the single shot detector. Uh, we also have an OpenVX implementation. Now, uh, one thing about the CVSDK is, is that it's, it's best as part of a portfolio. For new functions, for custom functions, you can add uh, uh, custom nodes in OpenCL. Uh, you, you can also extend the graph with MediaSDK. Uh, MediaSDK is shown here in this demo, uh, providing accelerated encode and decode, and it's, it's an important part of the overall performance picture. So what you get with CVSDK is a, a great, uh, easy to program access to Intel hardware. It simplifies development because uh, in, instead of needing to, to program directly to the metal uh, to uh, create functions that, that are, are uh, accessing all the different hardware types that CVSDK can cover. Uh, you, you, you can just use the, the uh, pre-implemented functions uh, and uh, the, then you know, your, your application is, is up and, and running and, and optimized and ready to go. To, to program a, a machine learning inference, to, to, to add, add machine learning inference to your application, uh, there, there's a, a, a nice flow that's, that's uh, built into the SDK. We can accept train models from a, a wide variety of, of, uh, you know, of, of external sources. I, right now we're, we're starting with CAFE. We, we, we'll support TensorFlow in the future. Uh, so there's a, a step required in the middle to, uh, to feed in that train model and optimize it. And, and prepare it for the, the target hardware type. So there's a, a, a model op optimizer utility. It reads in the, the CAFE uh, a prototext uh, uh, metadata and, and weights. It you know, transforms it, uh, optimizes it for the, the target hardware. You can choose uh, uh, heavier or, or lighter data types uh, like FP32, FP16. Once that's completed, uh, you, you have an output uh, of, of uh, generated OpenVX code or intermediate representation which can be used uh, directly with the Inference Engine SDK. Uh, that can be used directly by your application. So you, you have a nice uh, automated, uh, easy to use path to, to use Inference in your application.